Hey, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize scum for better FPS and performance and how you can apply the best settings for your PC and your game to optimize your performance and smoothen it out. Make sure to watch this video till the end to fix all of your FPS drops, lags, stutter and a lot of issues and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings over here and then you have to come down to personalization. Right over here, go over to colors and disable transparency effects. This will remove the translucent effects from your windows on your PC. And after that, head down to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Game bar is actually an overlay service and disabling that will help you to optimize your PC drastically. After that, go back to gaming, head over to game mode and simply turn this thing on. Game mode turned on will help you to disable unnecessary animations. Game mode turned on will help you to disable unnecessary notifications as well as background applications to optimize your performance after that click on the graphic settings over here and then enable optimizations for windowed games which will help you to reduce input latency by using advanced features and then click on advanced graphic settings and enable hacks hardware accelerated gpu scheduling will help you to utilize your gpu to render the games after that click on add desktop app over here and then go to the download location of your game once you find your game double click to open it up head over to scum Bindries, Win64 and you'll find scum.exe. Click on the add button and once that is added, scroll a bit down until you find it. Select your game and then for the GPU preference, from let windows decide, set this into high performance and this will disable all kind of power saving features on your PC and utilize your primary graphic card to render the game. Once that is done, simply close it. Step number two is the compatibility settings and for that open up Steam, right click on your game and then click on manage and after that click on browse local files. Once you're over here, double click to open scum, Bindries, Win64 and you'll find scum.exe. Right click on that and head over to its properties and then click on compatibility. Disable full screen optimization and then click on change high DPI settings and override high DPI scaling behavior. Click on OK and apply and this will ensure that you get the least input latency when you're playing these games. Next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you're over here click on adjust for best performance. After that, click on save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. Other than that, disable every single one of these options over here and which will help you to reduce the animations on your PC and keep it minimal. After that, click on the apply button. Next step is disabling background applications on your Windows 11. And for that, simply search for edit group policy and press enter. This option will only be available for Windows Pro users. Once you're over here, under the computer configuration, head over to administrative templates, Windows components, app privacy and right over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background. Double click to open it up and then set it to enabled. This will ensure that the policy is enabled and default for all applications should be set to force deny. This will deny all of the background applications which will help you to optimize the performance of your PC. Click on OK and then close it. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and after that go for local disk C. Click on create and name it scum so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any form of data loss. Once it is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is come v1.0 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can find in five very simple folders over here. Let's start with the first one that is CPU priority in which I have left AMD as well as Intel CPU priority. If you guys are using any AMD CPU, double click to apply the AMD CPU priority and vice versa if you are using an Intel CPU. This will help you to set up the correct D word value for your processor to optimize its performance. Second folder is RAM optimization, which does the, th which does the same thing, but for your RAM. I have left a ton of presets according to your PC. I have 32 GB RAM, so I need to apply this one. Could be different for you, so double click and apply that. And in case of any issues or any problems that you face, double click to apply a reset to default and apply that back again. Third folder over here is scum priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority and to apply it on your PC you need to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Fourth one is disable unwanted services in which I have left a ton of registries on your PC. These services run in the background of your PC and utilize your PC's resources to reduce your performance. Simply double click to apply every single one of them and that will disable all of these unnecessary services. Unless you use any Bluetooth 
to the printer services, leave these two as it is and disable every single one of them over here. Once again, if you want to revert any of them back again, head over to the revert registries folder and re-enable them back. Last one is the useful programs in which I have left these three very useful programs. The first one is clean temporary files dot bat. Right click on it and head it. Right click on it and then click on run it as administrator. A simple pop-up will open right in front of you. Press enter on your keyboard and this will delete all temporary files right off your PC. It is highly recommended to clean your temp folder and your prefetch folder every now and then to keep your PC optimal. After that, simply close it. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0. Simply right click and run it as administrator. This simple software allows you to optimize your graphic card and increase your interrupt priority. For that, simply locate your graphic card in this list and then click on the MSI button next to it. For the interrupt priority, select high over here and then click on apply and simply close it. Next is unpack CPU, which is a very super useful application as well. Right click on that and run it as administrator. Now Windows by default has a tendency to park the cores which are not in use. Parking the cores means putting them to a sleep mode, which may cause performance issues. To fix that, you need to slide this core parking index all the way up to 100% and then for the system power plan, change it to high performance or ultimate performance if that is available and click on the active button. Click on apply and this will disable all kind of power saving features on your processor to optimize its performance. Once again, simply close it and close the FPS pack. Next step, open up your Steam, right click on your game and then click on the properties button. Once you're over here, go over to install files and then click on verify integrity of the game files. This will help you to see any kind of corrupted game file that might be causing performance issues because the shaders of this game is not properly optimized. Doing so will help you to re-download the lost files and ensure that your game is up to date. Once that is done, click on the play button and drop into the best in game settings. Alright guys, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to options. Right over here, what you have to do is come down to the graphic settings and then for the graphic preset, set this thing to custom. For the DLSS super resolution, you guys can go with balanced or quality, both of them works absolutely fine. Then for the reflex, go with on plus boost and for the shadow quality, post processing quality and effect quality go with low, texture quality and texture memory go with medium and view distance go with high. You guys can reduce it to optimize your FPS as well. Foliage quality and fog quality go with low, motion blur go with off, shadow precision and shadow resolution you guys can go down to low as well on both of them. Distance field shadows off, distance field ambient occlusion off, refraction quality you guys can go with low over here, translucency volume blur you guys can go with off. Depth of field quality, you guys can go with off over here as well. Lens flare quality, go with low. Chromatic aberration, you can keep it on, doesn't really impact a lot. Bloom quality, go with low. Tone mapper quality, go with medium. Filmic grain off. Light shaft shadow quality off. And then over here, you'll find cloud quality, cloud shadow quality. You guys have to turn this thing to low. And then for the foliage, LOD, dithering, you guys can turn this thing off over here. Apply these settings and then press escape key. And now you guys can enjoy your game with the highest FPS possible. So, guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash hit subscribe button. I really hope this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to do leave a like and smash hit subscribe button because it really helps us grow the channel. We'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, Stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.